Um, we had a, a good influx of mid-years uh, that we've gotten. And uh, obviously going, I think we had nine, eight or nine, I think was right. And uh, which is going to help shore up a lot of stuff. You know, I, you know we needed some, some secondary guys and we've got, I think we got three or four mid-years. Um, we needed some linebacker, some rush edge guys, drop guys that can play backer and play down. You know, we've got some of those at mid-year, and we got a couple D linemen at mid-year, you know, to be able to help us. And then, you know, when we filled in very well, we think, with what we got out of this group. And, uh, and getting some younger guys, obviously, some high school guys to build a little bit of depth and over time and mixed in with a few JUCO guys. Yes, uh, both very good players. Um, played on, obviously, a very good institution. Uh, Butler football is very good, and they're nationally ranked every year. And we've had some guys from there. I think the total now is up to, I believe, seven. That's what I saw on Troy's board out there. So we're, uh, you know, and we've got some good connections there, and they do a good job coaching. We know what we're getting when we get them from there. And, you know, we think those two can come right in and be able to help us. Obviously, the you know the JUCO guys, you feel they're going to pop in first, just age and maturity and things that they bring to the table. And you know, a guy like Melton is a uh, you know a big body guy, been at Purdue, been at Butler. Now we get him; he's an older kid, and uh, he's a different type guy than what we got. You know, he's three hundred something pounds and six four, six five, and you know he's going to require some attention. Uh, you know, Upshaw. Again, he's he's a guy he you know, played at middle uh, for a year or two, and ended up at Jones. And uh, he's a big guy too. We had, I think we got him on the scales at 295 the other day, and he's six two, six three, and he moves around well. So he's you know gonna bring a little bit different dimension than what we have. And uh, you know then the ends, Braylon Williams is gonna be a big guy. He's a big guy who can play in or out. He's. 275 pounder, 280 right now, you know. So he's going to be a strong side end guy to three technique. You know, you you can be able to move him around a little bit and do some things. And then, uh, you know, the two high school guys, uh, Peak and Statham, you know, they're they'll be coming on because mm -hmm. they're uh, they're young and Statham's can he can rush the passer. He'll be an edge guy. You know, that can play on and off the line of scrimmage. And, and Peak's going to be a, a great kid for us, I think. You know, it's not necessarily going to be we're going to make scheme changes. We're, we're going to make personnel changes, I think, you know, to adjust a little bit to what we don't have as much of. Um, you know, scheme-wise, not a problem. You know, you, you know, whatever personnel you're lying down with is what you got, you know, and you got to adjust your personnel a little bit and how you get it to, uh, to be a little more multiple. Because the game's adjusting some, and you know we're going to adjust with it. We had a great run of having D linemen and having great D linemen, and obviously you ain't going to change your game plan when you when you got a bunch of great D linemen. But they're harder to get, and you know we hadn't fell on as many as we as we have been lucky on that to have the great ones like we've had. And uh, so we're going to a little bit different type body, and uh, you know not adjusting our scheme, but you know changing changing the way we play. People. Just different different guys on the edge because you know one thing you're trying to create is pass rush. You know it's a spread out game nowadays, so you, you got to be you got to be up and on your feet and be able to, to spread out with everybody and without having to adjust all your personnel all the time. So you know make yourself a little more multiple.